What is happening, guys? My name is Chris. And I'm Paul. And welcome back to That Tattoo <laughs> Show. <laughs> this episode, we're going to be going through some more digital workflow stuff. And what we're going to be discussing is what hardware is best for tattooists to use. And obviously, we are renowned for fucking making videos that go on forever. So we're trying to set ourselves <laughs> a limit where we're going to try, we're going to try and try and get this done in 25 minutes. <laughs> So, let's get into it. We're going to start off with Paul telling us about what he uses for his digital workflow and why. No, I'm not. First of all, <laughs> what, what, oh, what oh, we no, want to know, what we want to know oh, is, we know. What is, in case you don't know, what is the hardware bit, right? Because we call it hardware. What's the hardware bit, right? So, the hardware bit is basically the, the computery bit, right? So... That's what we're talking about. I jumped ahead no. of myself so we're not there. Talking, <laughs> we're not talking about the software. We're just talking about... The hardware. The hardware. I think I said hardware. You did say hardware, but I'm not sure if everybody, anybody would think, is that my tattoo machine and my power yeah, supply? Yeah. It's not. You might be coming from pens and pencils on greaseproof paper and going, I need to... I want to transition into, you know, a laptop, a computer, an iPad, you know, one of these things, right? Uh, quite simply, I can do this episode, I can finish this episode right now. Buy a fucking iPad. Buy an iPad. End of. We'll see you later. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> right, but for, for the people out there that for some reason hate everything that Apple do, uh, and the, the, uh, the, you know, maybe you, you know, maybe you're in the PC. In all seriousness, maybe you're in the PC ecosystem. A bit like me, I I started using computers with Apple. It was years before I even knew there was a different kind of computer. So I, if you started with PCs, I completely understand. I'm not a PC hater, right? I had a Vio laptop for years. Apple is designed for, for designers though. Apple is a product that is made for the creative person. It's meant to just do what you needed to do and they without fanny and round like i agree with that statement up till the day steve jobs died yeah see no it's me right it, well, it was absolutely like I, I it was absolutely like that but honestly you know in in you know so that you understand that i i will definitely give some other stuff uh, a fair go because it's easy to just go buy an ipad right if you go yeah you're just a mac ed you know and that's it and i am right i do i use it I use it for a reason. I had a Vio laptop for years. I've had a, a bunch of PC stuff. I've had Wacoms and all that sort of stuff. And I, I have chosen to go the iPad route because I use, you know, my Mac computer, my, my phones, and uh, an iPhone, and all that sort of stuff. I like their stuff, right? But we'll, we're going to go through it and assess which hardware, right? So depending on your platform, right? So. You've got a choice. If you're on a Mac or a PC, the first choice that you've got to make is, do you want this thing to be mobile or not? Do you need to... Are you, are you going to be sitting in the studio? Are you going to be taking this thing on the road? Are you going to be go, just taking it backwards and forwards to the shop with you? Right? So if you're not, then you're really into the choice of a Mac tower or a PC tower. Now, <laughs> if you want to spend 25 grand... Get a Mac tower. <laughs> Max make am Max make amazing towers. Um, but I suppose like you could get like a a, a a MacBook Pro, which is about. But then you spend about like two grand. No, no, hang on. It's got to be a tower to start with. It's got to be a tower, right? Why though? Right. So because we're talking about desktop computers, they've got to be desktop. Okay, a Mac Mini. Now, right now you're talking, right? So if you're going down the down the Mac route, we'll go the Mac route first. If you're going down the Mac route, and it's going to be sitting on a desk, it doesn't have to go anywhere, and you don't want to spend, you know, a, like what is an insane amount of money, but it is a pro computer, right? It is that, and it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. But what you've got to remember is that computer has been designed and built to be used by people that will use it for at least ten years. This is if I go to a recording studio today there are che the old cheese grater max from about i think the, the latest one is at 2011 they're still sitting in recording studios being used now if these studios upgrade it will be 2030 before they buy a new computer that's why yeah. it's a 25 grand computer because it's two and a half grand a year for 10 years that's how that's how it, it works out this thing will still be 
top notch in 10 years time. I've got one sitting out of shot opposite here, a 2009 original cheese grater Mac that is still, if I benchmark it, because I've done a bunch of upgrades to it, it still benchmarks faster than any anything in the Apple range with the exception of the 4K iMac and the brand new cheese grater, which kills it, right? They're brilliant. But I like the um the you know, no purely just on aesthetics. I like the fucking look of the, the the dustbin one, the black one. I think that's sexy as fuck. That is. Oh yeah, I never I never got on with the dustbin one. I had. It uh, looks so I've nice. Got, I've still I've still got a G4 mirror door. I had a uh, that's still sitting because it's like I know I can't I can't, just can't bring myself to throw it away because like we we've done a lot together, man. We've been through some shit, me and like that a mirror good door. Friend, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good mate. It'd be like it'd be like shooting my dog. You know that's how it feels, right? So, um, but the, my cheese grater Mac I've had for I've had since two thousand and nine. Uh, absolutely love it. Still use it all the time. It was it, like, I edit um, the Modern Electric show. That was all edited on the cheese grater Mac. Uh, I currently use my twenty twelve uh, MacBook Pro uh, because there's no need for me to upgrade because they don't make anything. In my opinion, there's one there's one better, but I'll come to that later. If you're going to use a computer, an affordable Mac computer sitting on your desk that's good for tattooists, because let's be honest, as tattooists, we don't need some of the stuff that these computers yeah. do. We're not rendering 3D. We just need some... Well, saying that, there are some tattooists out there that are rendering 3D. So, depending... Yeah, I mean, there are some, there are some tattooists. It depends on your needs. But I suppose if you're at that point, right, where you're rendering 3D graphics then you're going to know what you need. So if this is basically... You ain't watching this video because exactly. you already know what you need. <laughs> so if you are looking at going into the digital kind of age of tattooing, yeah. like what we have, then yeah, I think an entry one is a Mac Mini. Mac Mini. Mac Mini is a great show. It's a really banging computer. They're, they're quick. 16 gig of RAM. 16 gig of RAM, I think. I can I can pull it up on screen in front of me. Like, yeah, you know. No, that's what I, no, that's yeah. what I would say. I've always said like I would, I would recommend a minimum of 16 gigabytes of RAM. Do you know what? My... My, my Mac Pro that's sitting here that I do all my music and all my all my video on it's got 8 gig of RAM in it you know 8 and it's fine you know 8 is good I, my MacBook Pro has only got 8 gig of RAM but gigs, so. I've always it's better to be safe than sorry I, I've always been like that I'll if I if I have the option, the, it's worth saying that the the general rule of thumb with all computers is buy the highest spec computer you can afford. Yeah, but buy the one you can afford. There's no need to stretch yourself. Buy what you can afford, right? So a Mac Mini, eight between eight and sixteen gig of RAM. That's fine. You can make your decision based on that, based on what you think you're going to be doing in the future. If you like things that are memory hungry, are things like video editing. Actually, weirdly, audio isn't particularly memory hungry unless you use a lot of plugins and stuff. So if you were, you know, like making, I don't know, like maybe like a lot of like software synths and stuff. If you were thinking of doing that. You if it's visual stuff, though, right? Sorry to interrupt you. If it's visual stuff, you want to be getting something that's got like a, a good uh, graphics card because a lot of the programs now are using the GPU yeah. to fucking render things. Yeah. Like, you know, it, video editing. But you see, the Mac Mini, if you are if you buy one now, like a new Mac Mini, the latest Mac operating system, like if you wanted to do an upgrade, if you were struggling, they all support eGPU, which is an external graphics processor, right? So you could yeah. buy that at some point to, to, to offload the graphics processing if the Mac was starting to slow down. I've been I've been considering getting one just purely for this fucking show though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've I've thought about it a couple of times when I've been watching progress bars for two, for a day and like going, I need my computer back at some point, please. Yeah. But if you're just getting into it, Mac Mini is a really good show. Uh, you will need uh, a screen to go with it because it keyboard, doesn't come with a screen, mouse. doesn't come with a keyboard, doesn't come with a mouse. But you can use all the PC stuff for that, and it's not that bad. Um, actually, um, the, and if the, you're going to use like, it with a so sorry, to interrupt you. If, if you sorry. are going to get a Mac, and this is the beauty of a Mac Mini as well. If you're going to use a Mac Mini, you buy a Cintiq, uh, a, a Wacom Cintiq, isn't it? Yeah. Um, is it Cintiq or Cintiq? Cintiq, I believe. I know. Oh, we done that fucking road again, have we? But here we go again. You know, <laughs> shall we call it a Cintiq? Cintiq. <laughs> So basically, yeah, you get your Mac Mini. You don't need to buy an external monitor because you got your Cintiq, and that is the monitor. You just yeah, have it. it's all it. You could do that. So you, you've got a PC with a touchscreen monitor that you can draw on with a pen, and like that's great if you're only going to be having it in one place. Let me just go and get a reason why I don't think you should buy a particular Mac product. I'm, I'm like two seconds, right? 
Right, hang on, hang on a minute. This is definitely gonna go longer than fucking uh, 25 minutes. It's not gonna go longer than 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right. So. Right, look, this is, now this is, like genuinely, this is one of the reasons why sometimes I agree with people who, who go, bloody Apple products, right? This is an Apple Magic Mouse. This is Magic Mouse yeah. 2, right? This has got an internal battery that you can just charge by USB, right? What a great idea. That sounds like an amazing thing to do. You just plug it in, charge it, carry on using it. Except, right, guess where they put the charger port? They put it on the bottom. Look. They put it on the bottom of the mouse, so you have to lie it upside down to plug it out. Who the fuck designed that? Not, not Johnny Ives, put it that way. Who the fuck puts the fucking charger port on the bottom? And the, the ironic thing is, <laughs> I, I'm not sure if this is true. I'm sure I've seen it in like one of the Steve Jobs biograph biographical fucking films, right? Uh, or was it in a documentary or something, but I'm sure... Steve Jobs invented the mouse. Uh, no, he definitely didn't. If you want the hit, we're going over 25 minutes. If you want the history of Apple, I can do it for you if you want. No, because I read this. I, I what? I did no. something I seen. I'm probably wrong, right? But I seen something. It was. Z it, I'm telling you now, it was Xerox that invented the mouse. Are you sure? Because the Apple, yeah, because the Apple operating system was derived from the Z Xerox developed a computer and yeah. they used a mouse pointer. Um, it's Steve Jobs may have may have coined the term mouse to describe it, but I don't know for certain. But it was definitely a Xerox because the original Mac operating system came Whoa. was was uh, was from Xerox. You are uh, the the photocop the photocopier okay. company. If you know what a photocopier is, the mouse was invented in 1963 by Douglas Engelbart of Stanford Research Institute. There you go. And where was it first implemented? Uh... Graphical pointer system. Xerox. I'm telling you, it's Xerox. Fuck knows. But yeah, here we go. Fucking, no, you've learned something. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you learned something. Fuck off. Right. So, uh, let's get back on the subject. You're, gonna, you're buying a desktop computer that's a Mac. Get a, get a Mac Mini. Uh, 8 or 16 gig of RAM will be fine. Get the biggest hard drive you can. You're going to need some room. Uh, and that can live on there. You will need a... You will, don't, buy, don't buy a bloody Mac... Apple Super Mouse or anything like that. Just get a regular old no, PC mouse. They work fine on Macs. I would suggest, actually, I've been looking into mouses. Mice, not mouses. I would suggest, because I'm going to buy damn one. Just get <laughs> mouses, mice. <laughs> I'm fucking Welshman. Uh, a, a, a tracking ball mouse. No, oh, come on. I'm not playing Call of Duty on it. Yeah. They're rubbish for drawing with, mate. I don't, you don't fucking draw with a mouse, though, do you? You draw with the, 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 the pen. Mate, dude, I, I drew with one of these for years. Well, like, just like, look, it's, the, like, it's a trackpad. Right? I drew with a trackpad forever. Yeah, yeah, a trackpad, fair enough. Right, it's good. I'll probably stop this thing recording now. Hang on a minute. We'll stop it. Like, no, it's still carrying on. That's fine. Um, I drew with a track. I, I, you know, I can draw quite happily. Weirdly, I draw on my trackpad on my laptop I draw with my right hand and I don't know why Re used to do it yeah Re because I'm left like my missus is a left handed yeah my, my missus is a professional illustrator and for years she would draw everything like vector it up with a, the trackpad on her fucking on MacBook like I did exactly the same for donkey shirts man it's no big deal you get used to it it's, it's not it's not hard but so you like so you've got you've gone down the desktop route with the Mac. I'll talk you through the the PC route. It's, that's going to be uh, less informative because I know very little about them. But so you, if you want to be able to draw, you know, on the on you can draw on a screen. You can get a thing called a Wacom Cintiq, right? Or you can get uh, just a, a Wacom, which means that you just draw on it and it comes up on the screen in front of you like that. Some people don't like that because you're like looking down here to draw and it's happening up here. It's a like, mm. I personally. And have you tried like sitting there drawing on one of them graphics tablets, right? That hasn't got the screen on it and you're like this. Yeah. You're kind of like fucking weird. I, I personally never felt the disconnect. A lot of people feel the disconnect. And I, I always used to have mine set up so that the left hand corner of the. Of the of the thing was always the left hand corner of the screen. It didn't behave like a mouse. So when, like wherever you put it down, if you put it down in the middle, it was the middle of the screen. If you put it down there, it was up there. Yeah. And I always I preferred that. Um, a lot of people don't like it for drawing. It's a, that's why you know tablet PCs and iPads exist because people like to draw on screens. So if you if you want to draw an experience with a desktop computer, 
then you could get something like the uh, the Cintiq or Wacom. Wacom's latest thing is the mo they call it the mobile studio. Uh, and that is, I think it's standalone when it's a PC. So it's essentially a Wacom tablet, but it has to be plugged into a Mac. And it's basically, uh, on a Mac, it's like a secondary screen, right? But on a PC, it's a it's a PC computer. Now, the, the thing with this is none of this stuff is portable. You don't want to be carting this stuff through airports to, no. to, you know, to shows or going and doing guest spots. This is literally going to have to live in the studio. Some of these Cintiq things you see, they're on these like massive articulated arms and everything. Are they fucking huge? Uh, personally, I don't fuck with them. I think they're a pain in the ass. Nippers got one. It's fucking massive, though. Yeah, it's just it's just too much. Um, like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like the anti PC person in Europe because my personal experience with PCs. Yep. Is I bought a laptop that I spent a thousand pound on, right? Yeah. And within six months, it was fucked. I bought a fucking MacBook Pro, and the only reason why it was fucked was because it got water damaged. It was working fine for years. Yep. Um, like the one I, I will hands down say, like Apple products just do the job. The one thing I will say about the one thing I will say about that is if you buy the Mac. Uh, if you buy an equivalent PC, so like if you buy a Mac with a, like a MacBook Pro and you find a PC where the hardware has got the equivalent spec, it's about the same experience. It really comes down to whether you like the operating system or not. I personally, genuinely, I just don't like the PC operating system. I just find it a little bit annoying. But that's only because I learned to use a Mac. So the PC feels weird to me. Having said that, used a Vio laptop for years, didn't mind it at all. You soon get used to it. For a long time, it was the only way you could really develop websites was on a PC. So I had no choice really because I, I, I had to I had to develop websites. Um, but we're talking about PC towers. Quite honestly, if you get a PC tower, I'd build your own. Find somebody who can build it to the spec that you want it to be. Yeah, dude, it's like super super cheap. You can buy all the parts. You just you get a fancy case like fucking lights up with RGB lights in it and shit. They do some amazing stuff. The fucking things look like mobile discos. But it's not a Mac. They look like the party bus when they go along, don't they? You know what I mean? But yeah, but it's not it's, a Mac. It's, 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 they, I, I think they're cool, right? You can you can you can really spec them up. And those things are fast. They bench test faster than Max. Um, they're really good at some stuff. Uh, they're shit at other stuff. You know, it's just one of them things. You, you pay your money, you take your choice. If you prefer the PC architecture and you want a desktop, I would definitely build your own. Like, it's not hard, man. It's not like, it's like Lego. This is like the difference between me and you. You are way more like technical in regards to like the hardware of when it comes to the fucking computers and you know more about it than I do because of your background in graphic design and, and being a sound engineer and stuff. I'm like, does it do what I want it to do? <laughs> what it do? And which one does it best? <laughs> and like my personal experience is like, for example, like let's go from the, the desktop computer side and let's go to the portable side of things, which is yeah. laptops and, and, and tablets and things. And like, and yeah. I, at one point I tried to, I went to buy the Microsoft Surface Pro, right? And before we started filming this, I was saying to Paul, I bought one and I returned it within less than 24 hours because it was not fit for purpose, right? And a normal iPad was better than a fucking Surface Pro. Well, let's start with the laptops first, right? So uh, again, we'll do the Mac range first, right? Uh, e 15 inch MacBook Pro. If you're in, if you're in 2020 and you want a Mac laptop, right? There are there, essentially there are two choices as far as I'm concerned, right? So. Um, it, it comes down to screen size, but I would always choose the smaller screen size for portability because then if I'm sitting at a desk, I'll plug it into a monitor because they but then run that monitors depends, fine. Yeah, but then that depends what you want to do. So say, for example, if you're, if you're, if you're like me and you want to use, uh, uh, you want to use it for video editing, you want to use it for design work and things like that. If you buy the 13-inch MacBook Pro, you are definitely going to need to buy an external graphics processing unit, hands down, because like... It, 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 the graphics card's not as good. So if you, if you, if yeah, if you, if you only going to do it for drawing, and you're going to use it with like a, a graphics tablet, or you're just going to do Photoshop on it, then yeah, that's fine. Get a thirteen-inch. Well, if you're going to, if you're going to do monitor. that, if you're going to do that as a as a a, a tattooist, uh, and you're only going to use Photoshop on it, and or maybe Illustrator or something like that, don't even buy a MacBook Pro. Get a MacBook Air. Just get the get the MacBook Air. You don't need any of the other nonsense. It's nearly as fast. It's it's going to run just as good. Um, and just get the MacBook Air. It's lighter than the MacBook Pro. It's got um, the same amount of connectors. It's got the same screen in it. It's got nearly the same processor. If you get the 
I think if you upgrade it, you can get the same processor. So my my money these days would go in a, a MacBook Air. In fact, I was looking at buying one the other day. If, if mine, you know, uh, shit the bed, then I was going to go, well, I'm going to go MacBook Air because for what I need it for, it'll work. Um, the Mac, the the 16 inch MacBook Pro, it's it's a really good bit of kit. They've had some real problems with their stuff last year, and I think the year before, keyboards are a piece of shit, uh, screens are a piece of shit. They fixed that now. The 16 inch MacBook Pro is good. Honestly, um, they because they're about to change the processor chip in the Max. I would really hold off on buying one because they're about to switch from the in from the the Intel chips back to their own chips, this ARM chip, which is what's in the iPads. Now, and that means that if you buy one now, the next generation of Macs are gonna be much more compatible with the iPads. So the smart money is don't buy a Mac this year. But they are pretty compatible because I bought the 2018 one. And this is a little bit of a tip for you, for anybody who's looking to buy a MacBook, right? I went into Curry's um, to buy a MacBook because I needed one because mine broke and everything. And, they had the 2019 MacBook Pro, um, the 15 inch one, and it was like, this is how much it is. Uh, and they were fucking naughty, man. They had like, basically on display, they had a 2019 or 2020 or whatever, the, the latest version of the MacBook Pro. And the price they had next to it, right, was for a different model. And I was like, that's Ooh, fucking, yeah. That's a bit much. So they're at, yeah, that's, I said, that's fucking naughty. Like I said, you can't fucking do that. But what I will say is like, make sure, right, like just check with them and say what have you got out back because the guy ended up going out back and he found a 2018 macbook pro right exact pretty much the same specs but one year fucking it was a 2018 model um i had it for like about 300 quid cheaper i uh, the only thing i can say about that is if, if like if i i've been using max for like forever right like since the mid 90s okay if i was buying a mac and I'm only telling you that because I, you know, I know Mac computers much better than I know PCs. If I was going to buy a Mac today for my to be on my desk here um, to replace what I'm already running, I'd buy a Mac Mini because I don't, I, I wouldn't, I don't, th I think you're wasting your money buying a Mac laptop. Uh, in 2020, to be honest with you, because there's, I, I'm sure there are big changes coming 2021, right? So I think it's a waste of money because you'll end up, unless you upgrade your computer every year, of course, which I don't. If you want the laptop experience, and I'm, I'm gonna have to stop and start, mate. Hang oh, we did 25 minutes. We did 25 Wee. minutes. Sorry, folks. Yeah. Here we go. We have to stop and start. Yeah, and I'm back in the room. So as I was saying. Now that we're over time, but we're going to try and keep this short. If if you want the laptop experience and you need the portability in 2020 and you want to go down the Mac route, buy an iPad. 100%. That's the smart money's the, the smart money's buying an iPad right now. iPad OS means that, and with the new like keyboards, you know, and all that, it's turning it into a very laptop experience. And it, it, to be honest with you, I think my iPad is faster than my laptop. I really genuinely do. 100%. I really do. And I and I think that's the ARM chip that they're, that they're working on. And this is why I don't think you should buy a Mac laptop now. I yeah. think you should wait and get get an iPad. And then if you need a laptop, do that. I think... <clears throat> next year or the year after. For me, I would say 100%. And, and like even this entire video, I, I could have... I could have just ended this video like fucking 25 minutes ago by saying... As a, as a tattoo artist, right, the best investment you could ever make is an iPad Pro. The best investment you can make. It is. And the reason why I say that is because I've got a fucking MacBook, I've got a MacBook Pro, and the only reason why I use my MacBook Pro now is to edit videos. Everything relating to art, drawing, stencil design, fucking um, consent forms, anything relating to tattooing and design work and things like that, it's all done on my iPad. Yeah, me too. And just, to, too. just as an example of how good an iPad Pro is, right? Like I've said this to Paul, I've probably mentioned this in other videos. My partner, she is a professional illustrator. She works for The Beano, which is a comic book company. She has got a studio in our house, which has an iMac. She's got a fucking Cintiq, you know, <laughs> she's, got, she's got the full kit. She does all of her drawing on an iPad Pro. Yeah. And and she's just 
because I'm an amazing fucking yeah. boyfriend, Greg. Right? She's just got... She's just got the 2020 iPad Pro, which I'm very jealous of. It's a banger. But even with that, right? And this is the awesome thing. The 20, if you if you go on, oh, well, I like to look at it on a fucking yeah. screen, right? I've got a BenQ monitor, right? Which, if you're looking for a good monitor, okay. BenQ yeah. is fucking awesome. Um, I can plug her iPad into, into straight into my monitor with a new US type, USB yeah, Type-C like, well, port. For but, mine, I, went, I didn't buy the one that plugs in on the side because I thought that this is one of these. Like, you can get this to go on the side of your iPad, right? Uh, this is for a laptop, right? I, I am a clumsy you know clumsy person right so I, they make one that's like uh, you, it's got the USB-C there and it clips on the side and I just looked at it and thought what are the chances of me snapping that thing off and leaving the connector I, that's what I've had right? to change so, so I bought this which is for a, a laptop right and it's got you know HDMI it's got card readers it's it, like it just it, it, it turns your iPad into a laptop basically you've got all the connectivity that you need but bef- but we haven't covered PC laptops, right? And I'm going to defend them, right? Because I've used them, and I, no, man, I'm going to def- I'm going to defend them, right? If I was, if you go, look, Paul, I love the PC operating system. I love Windows. I'm like, okay, right, but don't buy you a two hundred. Right? I'm going to go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> don't buy a two hundred quid ASOS computer expecting it to compete with a Mac. It's not it's not made for that, you know, it's 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 made as a first computer, right? If you want something that's got equivalent performance, buy something with an equivalent spec. So get yourself one of the uh, you know company PC companies that make great laptops. Toshiba would be my first choice. They make amazing laptops. Uh, the, I think the the Sony still make the Vio range. I think I always think the Vio range looks beautiful, performs really well. Uh, there's the uh, the Microsoft Surface is a um, now Chris is going to tell you that they're absolutely rubbish. I would tell you that if you buy the bottom one for drawing, the drawing experience is not great on the lowest of the Microsoft Surface, but the surfaces. But if you if you go for the higher spec one, which is you know getting up to a comparable price to you know the, the Apple stuff, the actually the drawing experience isn't too bad um, in something like Photoshop. Now we'll do software in the next episode, and I've got lots of reasons why I don't think you should use Photoshop, which you might be surprised about, but I'll tell you about that another time. So Are you finished? Toshiba, <laughs> almost Toshiba. Lenovo, there's a company called Alienware that if you want like a cool looking fucking laptop that's a PC, Alienware laptops are great. They're also rocking for games. Um, they're, they're, they're really, really good. They're solid PCs. But the, the, the problem that most people make is they go, there's a, a £2,000, um, you know, Apple laptop, like 1500 quid Apple laptop, and they try and compare it to a £200 PC laptop and go, well, Apple are clearly better. And it's that's not fair. If you if you take a two thousand pound or fifteen hundred quid PC laptop, it will probably, in some instances, be faster than the Mac at certain stuff. And if you like the operating system, then those are the companies that you be, should should be looking for. Look at the look at the similar specs. You know, get plenty of RAM, like a really fast processor. Now you got to remember, then processors, the architecture architecture of the the PC, they probably run faster. The reason I don't like them is um, you will obviously have to run some, you know, like you, if you know if you if you use a PC, you, the, you will have to run antivirus software, and uh, they are more compatible. With you have of, to do that with Macs now, though, don't you? Um, not really antivirus. You do get the odd thing here and there, but like I think because PCs are so much more compatible with lots of equipment, that they because they have to be more compatible. I mean, I think Apple have got like what eleven computers in the range. They only have to make that work with their software. If you've got a PC running Windows, it's got to work with eleven million configurations, right? That's why there are holes in the security. It's just more. But the benefit that you get there is you can plug it into more shit and it just works, right? I mean, you know, the Apple are good, but sometimes you just go. I, I look at it like um, brother printers are a really good a good example. The experience of the it's much it's much easier to set up the PC side than the Mac side. It's it's clearly the drivers are written for PC and not they were a bit of an afterthought for Mac, but they work. But there's a little bit of like mucking around to get them going. So 
if you're going down the PC route, just make sure that you get something that's got good spec. Don't, don't. Well, I mean, if if your budget is 200 quid, then that's fine. But don't expect it to be a MacBook Pro, right? Because the MacBook Pro is two grand, you know, or eight hundred quid. You know, but I I would say like if your budget is 200 quid, right? Keep your 200 pound. Honestly, keep your 200 pound and just save up and save. Yeah. Because if you spend, it's that thing, it's like... Buy, buy, a, set, buy a set of fucking uh, Copics. No, you can't even buy Copics for 200 quid. Get yourself some Prisma colours and, and like, because to be honest buy with fucking you... fucking pencils. Like, for 200 quid, uh, what Chris was going to say, sorry, because I jumped in all over him, as usual. <laughs> sorry. Um, uh, for 200 fucking quid... will be. The, the fucking, <laughs> you're just not going to enjoy the digital workflow, to be honest with you. It's, it, it, no. And... Do you know what? If like if you have yeah, see I fucking interrupted yeah. you then. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, it's tick no, for tack. Like, exactly. If it, 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 like so, what I'm gonna say is like if you if you've only got a budget of like two hundred pound, genuinely right, and and you've sa- and you, and you've had to save up a certain amount of time for it, your best option is go to Apple, go on their website. I'm only I'm only gonna push Apple because I think as somebody who has tried the PC route. And who's ended up drawing with an iPad? I fucked off everything else. I fucked off paper. I do everything on an iPad. I've had the first gen iPad Pro. I've still got it yeah, now. Yeah. I still yeah. use it. Gen one iPad Pro. I'm gonna use that until it fucking yeah. don't work right. But go on Apple's website. They do zero percent finance and just fucking take it out. Twenty four month finance. It works out at forty five pound a yeah. month. If you're a tattooist, you can afford forty five I mean, pound a month for an iPad. You know, two, that's a 2019. You know, I got mine engraved. I don't even know if it's going to pick up the engraving on there. Is it on there? I got mine. Look, well, I don't know. Is it will focus? What does it say? That tattoo show. Yeah, it says that tattoo show. No, it says put on your mouse ears and get in line. It replaced the one, <laughs> uh, the other one that I've got that, that Karen Karen ended up using because uh, she was like, she fell in love with it. And I was like, I'm an amazing husband, so I let her have it. The one that she's got says... Ah, oh, see, I, 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 I think I win there because I... I bought mine. Yeah. Well, I, so, okay, so I've got one for you. So the other one's engraved as well. And the quote on the back of the other one, if you can guess the movie, it's all right, Andy. It's just bolognese. No. Hot fuzz. It's all right, Andy. It's just bolognese. Fuck. Two chefs and a fuckload of cutlery. <laughs> I should fucking know that. I've seen that film fucking loads. And it, oh, mate, I've seen Hot Fuzz so many times. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. So um, to get back on track, Chris will only push the the Mac route. I I'm going to tell yes. you that if you're already in the PC in the PC world, then I mean for sure. I think you're not going to like Mac, you know. If you're a PC elitist, right, and you're into PCs, you're not going to like fucking Apple, are you? I, I mean, is, is, does that happen like in Android, the world? Of, isn't it? But does that happen in the world of tattooing? Though, I mean, it, that like that tends to be people that are really into gaming and really into like, like performance and 60 FPS gaming and stuff like that it doesn't really happen in the world of tattooing we just we just want to fucking draw pictures drawing. don't we right exactly yeah. but like I, so I'm, I'm on a group right I'm on this group on Facebook it's like a Procreate group yeah. and the amount of people that come on there and be like oh can I use Procreate on like Samsung yeah. or on an Android and it's like yeah. no Apple Procreate works best on Apple. It's only out for Apple as well. That is the one thing that I would that I would say is that the Android stuff that I've seen on tablets is fucking horrible. I mean, don't I mean that just that feels to me like you got you got the thing from Poundland. It's it's a horrible like if you're looking seriously, if you're looking for the best drawing experience, I've tried and used professionally, I've used Wacoms, I've used PCs, I've used Macs, and I've used iPads. I've used the Surface Pro and, and drawn on it. Lucas at the studio's got one. I've tried all of the options, genuinely tried them, not just had a scribble on them, I've actually used them. Uh, and honestly, hands down, without a shadow of a doubt, the iPad is the best drawing experience you'll have. If you, if you wanna just go, you know, I want to take this and I want to draw and I want it to feel like drawing. Hands yeah. down, I've you, you know, I've used, I used a Wacom for years, man, for for drawing stuff up. Without a shadow of a doubt, the the iPad is the way to go, and it's, um, it's, I think it's affordable for what it is. I think it's a rocking piece of kit. If you must go PC, 
then I would go Microsoft Surface, but buy the buy the top spec one. Don't buy. There are two below it, and that's why Chris is laughing. The two below <laughs> yeah, no, no, are dog shit. Like, if you, they don't work. If you must, if you must go PC, right? <laughs> buying an iPad Pro, print out an Alienware <laughs> sticker, and fucking stick it on the back. Because the iPad Pro will win every time. It's not, you're not helping people that really want to go down the I, the, I, the PC route. Like you, that's you know you're just being a Mac elitist now, man. It's not a Mac elitist. <laughs> it's like I use Procreate right for drawing. It's the one of the best fucking drawing programs yeah. out there does, for Does for, Procreate for run on a PC? I don't think it does. Okay. I think it only runs I'm on Mac. I'm, I'm Wait, googling let it me right consult. now. <laughs> Let's just look it up right now. Um, so look. Here's the here's the thing while he's because no, no, while he's googling it and we'll find out if it's running. It's all about the drawing experience. Like like um, if you if you don't draw, maybe you do like you know I, I don't do a massive amount of drawing. A lot of what I do is collage. I could actually get away with a laptop, um, and I did for years and years. Like my my latest 2012 laptop was I, I loved it to bits, but um, I find that to have the ability to draw and then to also have the ability to be a laptop the ipad covers that if you're going to stay in the pc architecture the only thing i'd say about the surface is that it's really only any good at the top end of the surface i've tried drawing i think lucas at the studio has got the middle one of the th i think there are three models and i think he went with the middle one and there's there's a lot of lag behind it now some of that lag to be to be honest is uh, the inefficiencies of Photoshop, and there are ways that you can improve that. So if you decide to go Microsoft Surface, in the next episode we'll be talking about software. Yeah, and I'll tell you, know you what, why. Right? You, I am... I'll tell you why you shouldn't be using Adobe products because Adobe um, they're they're not optimized really for the modern world. Okay, and, but I'll I'll explain that. Go on then. I am on Procreate's website, right? And every single thing that is coming up is fucking iPad, 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 iPad. Because like, so if you want to use and now, the, so it's the Apple Pen as well. Do you the, think? We'll do this in the software issue, but uh, in the software episode, we'll go into it a little bit further. But like, so from a drawing experience, like, so we 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 pretty much have established that we both go just get a, an iPad, iPad, uh, you know, buy an iPad, spend ten quid on Procreate, fucking job's done. Right. iPad, You're Procreate, done, right? brother printer, Bosch, and yeah, and to be yeah, and to be fair, that's it. And like hard, the only that is the only other bit of hardware. But I, I will do a separate episode of that because we're going to do a whole episode about you know like um, uh, making stencils and some real shortcuts for you know the, the slow but proper way to make stencils so that you can make your tattooing experience a bit easy and a bit less stressful and the quick and dirty mega fast you know I've got fifth, uh, make it fast like get it get it done way of doing it we'll show you a bunch of tricks for doing that I wanted to focus on that in a separate episode so the the upshot of this is realistically our only recommendation for you would be to get the the newest iPad Pro that you can. Uh, get Apple Pen, get one if you can that supports Apple Pen 2, because Apple Pen 2 is a massive improvement. Oh, on Apple like the Pen double 1. fucking click thing is amazing. The double clicks are the bomb. You just tap it twice, it turns into the eraser. It's it's, it's the business, right? Uh, it's really good. It's it's the best drawing experience. Uh, but before you invest in any software wait for the next episode because you don't need to buy any of that Adobe bullshit because it's bullshit, it is bullshit. basically and I'll I'll point you in a much better direction in the software episode and I'll explain why and also why buying newer modern software uh, from a different company will actually improve your stencils as well because part of the stencil problem is an Adobe problem and like part of the drawing problem is an Adobe problem and also there's a lot of stuff right that you can do in uh, Photoshop right that you can also do in Procreate but it's a bit of a longer way around to doing it it's like yeah, it's like a can, backwards way it. so we can cover all that stuff in another yeah. video and uh, yeah yeah we'll, we'll we'll and that's why we want to do these videos like this a little bit more in depth I think this one is currently running at 40 minutes so we easily smashed the 25 Woo! minute mark I think right I'm that much of an Apple fanboy right that if Apple brought out a fucking DSLR or mirrorless camera I would be like go and buy it Apple hello <laughs> I'm not I'm not that bad, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm the Apple. I just love the fucking con like the connectivity of it. Like I've j recently purchased <laughs> right these bad boys, right? Because like I was using like the normal wired headphones, and 
Yeah. These are the best headphones I've fucking ever had. They're amazing. Yeah. And like, yeah. this is what I love about Apple, right? And I don't care if you're a fucking PC elitist, right? <laughs> I've bought wireless headphones. But mate, they switched, they switched, they switched this show off 27 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. But like, I bought these, right? And as soon as I took them out of the box, and I and I just went like that, they connected straight to my fucking phone. I was like, yeah. You mean I don't have to type in fucking passcodes? The yeah. fuck? You know, you can. You, the, one of the things that I love doing. Is you know you can cut and paste via AirDrop between your between your laptop and your Mac. No. So you do cut paste and you just and when you paste the when you paste via AirDrop it will just create a text document on your iPad. Wow. So you type something up on your computer and go shit I need to put it on the iPad. You just cut and paste it and AirDrop the paste and it pastes it straight in. It's it, it, when it works, it, it's the bomb. It really does work. It really does work well. There's, there's just some, you know, I think that the reason why a lot of creative people love this stuff is it doesn't get in the way of what we're doing. Yeah. That's the thing is you can just get on with drawing, you can just get on with playing music, you can just get on with your video edit, your 3D stuff. The problem I always find with the PC stuff is the the architecture of the software means that it's always it's always a little bit in the way yeah. for what I'm doing. I know there are people that are going to disagree with me, and it, you know, I, I'm like, I, th- I hope that I've made it clear that I'm, I'm, you know, I don't mind either way. I've just, I've chosen my route, and that's that. I'm, I'm not hating on anything. But this is I the. Think it works. If it works for you, then that's cool, man. Like, yeah, like, th- th- that, this that's is good. The mad thing, like I, I went. So when I was studying film in college, we used Max. When yeah. I left college, I stopped using Max and I started using PCs for years. And then yeah. when I met my missus, which was like 12 years ago or something like that, 13 years ago, it was a long time ago, uh, it was like, I, I, I had to go over a Mac and I was just like, oh, fucking hell, this is just amazing for drawing. Like, so I'll tell you a true story about how hard I feel about it. Did I tell you when I when I quit my job because they tried to get me to use a PC? You know. So I worked, I worked in a publishing company for 10 years and I went into work one morning and one of the guys from IT was unplugging my computer, my Mac, right? And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And he was like, oh, we're, we're going completely PC. I was like, oh, all right, fair enough. So I started emptying my desk, right? I got a cardboard box. I started pulling all my shit out. My boss came in and went, what are you doing? I went, I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> and he went, what do you mean? I went, I ain't fucking using that. I can't do my job. I'm like, and so I ended, and he went, you're taking the piss. I was like, no, I'm fucking leaving right now. If you don't put that thing back on the desk, I'm fucking out of here, mate. And I, I ended up the only person in a department of 30 people with a Mac, because I, w- I refused. I was like, literally, he will quit if you take his Mac off him. And he'd become a running joke in the, in the place. <laughs> and because <laughs> IT... That's because like, that's what the Mac is good for. The IT department refused to touch it, and I was like, good, I don't want you to touch it. We don't call you the SHID t- IT department for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and he wanted me to use it, and I just refused. I just, I, I literally threatened to quit. Yeah. Uh, and with that, I think we've established if you're going to get a piece of hardware, get an, get the latest version of the iPad Pro that you can. Uh, if you can afford it, get the new uh, flippy, spinny, keyboardy thing. Get the Pen 2, um, and that's our best drawing tattooing experience and in the next episode we'll do software yes uh thank you so much for watching we really appreciate it don't forget to click like don't forget to click subscribe it really does help out the channel if you've got any questions or if you want to tell us off for being a bunch of mac geeks just do it in the comments below and we'll shout at you back i've been paul i've been chris and this has been that tattoo show we'll see you next time guys take it easy